Hello and welcome everyone to a new video tutorial. Um, I'm really excited today. We are going to be making um, this starfish. So if you've been following me um, since a long time, you will know that I absolutely love all marine creatures. And so I'm really excited today to show you how to make this starfish. So before we get started, let's get on with a list of tools and materials. So this um, is the crochet hook I'm going to be using today. It's a 3.5 millimeter hook and I'll be using um, 8 ply DK yarn for it. This is cotton yarn. I'll also be using um, this yarn, which is I think 4 ply, but it doesn't really matter. It's just to make the embroidery um, French knots on top of the starfish. Um, I have a little bit of stuffing here and um, of course um, a needle for sewing and my um, clippers to cut the yarn. So if um, you would like to follow along with the written pattern, it is available for free on to my website, emmacraftdesign.com. And um, yeah, let's get started. So the first step is to make the body of the starfish. So we're going to be working in rounds. We'll make a magic circle. If you're not familiar with this technique, I have some um, videos that are available for the basic crochet techniques to make amigurumi. Um, and I just um, encourage you to go see them. So I make a magic ring and I will single crochet five into that magic ring. So once um, I have crocheted five in the magic ring, I'm just going to tighten it a little bit, but not completely, so that that first stitch is still easy to crochet in. And then the next round is going to be to single crochet three in each stitch. So we're going to go from five to 15 stitches. And the good thing with this starfish pattern is that there's almost no sewing. Okay, now that I have um, single crochet three in each stitch, I will tighten my magic ring. And the next step is going to be to single crochet one, then single crochet three in the next stitch, and then single crochet one, and then we'll do that all the way around, so five times. That just helps us to give um, the pentagon shape, the five side shape. So one then three in the next stitch and then one and then we repeat that all around so so again Okay, so now that I have done this five times, we're going to move on to round number four. So again, we will single, we'll do repeat this um, sequence five times to do all the way around, but we will single crochet two, then single crochet three in that middle stitch there, 
and then single crochet two and we'll go all the way around once again so single crochet one two and then three to continue giving us that five side shape and then two and then we're going to repeat this four more times to go all the way around and we'll um, get to 35 stitches at the end of this round Okay, so we now have 35 stitches. So you can see it's actually starting to look um, like a pentagon, which is what we want. So for the next um, step, we're actually going to work in the back loops only for some of the stitches. Um, and this will actually help us create an attach for our legs because there's no sewing for this pattern. So you actually start crocheting um, from like this from the middle part afterwards so we are first going to single crochet one normally and then in the back loops only so we're going to single crochet five one two three four five and so you'll see this will actually leave those stitches there at the front and so that's where we'll then pick up to make the legs of the starfish and then we will also single crochet one um, in both loops so we're going to repeat that five more times so we just single crochet one in both loops and then in the back loops only we're going to single crochet five again And then single crochet one in both loops again and we repeat that three more times now Okay, so we're now finished and you can see now there's like five stitches that are free on each um, spot that we're going to add those little arms of the starfish. So the next round, round six, we're going to single crochet one and once again we're going to um, work in the back loops only and that will um, give us some more free front loops so that we can work those um, 
arms. So we're going to first single crochet one in both loops. And then in the back loop only, we're going to single crochet one. And then we're going to decrease three stitches together. So to do this, you will put your hook in the back loop only, pull a loop, next stitch, pull another loop, next stitch, pull another loop until you have four loops on your hook. And then you just pull a loop and all the way through. And that will just do the um, decrease. And then we're going to still in the back loop only single crochet one. Then we're going to single crochet one into both loops and we're going to repeat this sequence around. So single crochet one in both loops, single crochet one in the back loop only, decrease three stitches together in the back loops only, single crochet one in the back loop only, and then single crochet one in both loops. So you can see that there's actually a ridge created there where you still have another five stitches that are free and we're actually going to work now onto the back of. So now we're just doing that back of the starfish. So we need to do this for three more times. Okay, so now that we've finished doing that ridge there, we're actually going to turn over the piece and continue working. So that'll be the back of, um, you know, our jelly, um, our starfish, the back of that central central body. So now we're going to single crochet one, then we're going to single crochet three together and then single crochet one and do that five times again around um, and so we're going from 25 stitches at the end of round six to 15 stitches at the end of round seven so one and then we're going to decrease three single crochets together and then single crochet one And then we're going to single crochet one, decrease three stitches together, and single crochet one. And this is going to be the last one, so single crochet one. Okay, so at that stage we have 15 stitches left. Um, and this is when we're going to need to stuff um, the body of our starfish lightly. So. I'm just going to keep that starting tail in here. I'm going to grab a little bit of stuffing. And what I would suggest when you're stuffing this bit is you can push it to the sides to give it that, um, you know, starfish shape. So you want to put enough that it still keeps its shape, but not too much so that it shows through your crochet. 
Um, and yeah, pushing it to the sides there can be helpful. So you'll notice I used the end of my crochet to um, push it through. Um, I know some people use chop chop chopsticks. Well, I can't speak tonight. Um, yeah, chopsticks work really well or a pencil. Those are all really good options. Okay. So now... Um, the last round is just to single crochet three together all the way around. So we're going to go from 15 stitches to five stitches. So. And again, I like to kind of push that stuffing um, in the middle to make sure it's not getting caught in my crochet while I do that last round. And the last one. Okay. So you'll see it's like kind of like a little cushion um, starfish at the moment. But we're going to add the arms. So you can just pull your thread over and fasten off and then we're going to close this opening so I'll give you a little trick that I use um, to make it nice and neat I actually go on the front loops only of that last round and I just go in every stitch so that's one two three, four, oops, and five. And then I just gently pull it closed. There you go. And then I just will go through a few times um, to make sure this is closed properly. There you have it, the center of your starfish. So you can just count that. Okay, so the next step is going to be to do the arms of the starfish. So we are going to attach our yarn to those leftover front loops. So First, we're going to actually start with that first free front loop here. So, this one here. To attach my yarn, what I normally do is like I pull through a loop, then I do a, a chain one, and then I will do my single crochet back into that same stitch my first stitch and then we're going to single crochet so five so one two three four and five okay so this is what you should have at this stage <clears throat> and then we're going to continue on the other side so we're going to turn it over and this is where it can be a little bit tricky, but 
you you want to put it obviously still from front to back into that first free loop here so and then we're going to single crochet five on this side as well so one two three oh. Okay, so now that we've got this, we can go back into that first stitch that we did to continue working in rounds. So we're going to do three rounds now where we're going to single crochet in each stitch. So we're going to single crochet 10 for three rounds. So see, like I just kind of go from the front still and that first stitch that we did. Okay, so that's three rounds of 10 stitches so now we're going to um, de do a decrease round so we're going to single crochet three and then decrease and we're going to do that twice so to get to eight stitch so one two three and then we decrease so you can do an invisible decrease if you'd like which is where you just go through the front loops and then finish your stitch as usual. I also have a video um, where I explain this if you're interested. Okay. And now that we go, now that we have eight stitches, we're going to do four rounds of eight stitches. So, oops, I'm going to go in both loops. Great, so now that we've done four rounds of eight stitches, there is another decrease round. So we're going to single crochet two and then decrease um, and do that times two to go to six stitches. So one, two, and then we're going to decrease. And then again, one, two, and decrease. Okay, so now that we've got six stitches, we're going to do three rounds of six stitches. So those are rounds 11 to 13, so. Okay, so we're almost finished with our first arm. The next round, we're going to single crochet one and then decrease to go to four stitches. So, single crochet one, decrease, single crochet one, and decrease. Now we've just gone from six to four stitches. So those are actually kind of tricky to crochet in. And then the very last round is just um, single crochet four. So if you don't want to do that round, I guess you don't really have to. It's just I find it gives a neater finish than finishing on a decrease row. But you might be struggling a little bit to do that round because it's a bit... Hard. 
it's really tired to crochet like in rounds of four okay so that's it done so um now that you finish with that you can pull through for a while just um, make sure that you keep enough length because what we're going to do is we're going to give the arms their shapes so once you fasten off I would still recommend to close the hole the same way that we've done before so just passing through the front loops of the last round and pulling to make sure that it is closed and then what you can do is you can actually pass your yarn through kind of randomly and you're going to pull see if you pull this side then the arm kind of falls on itself and you can give it its cool shape so done one over here see now it's kind of like giving it a bit more of an organic shape rather than just have it straight yeah, a bit like that and then you can also so if you have a little hole there like I do um, I would also kind of take advantage of that long yarn that long tail of yarn to kind of sew this close and just do a few stitches there Yeah, so don't go overboard, don't pull too much, but see now it's just giving it a nice like organic kind of wave. And then also you can pull um, the starting thread. You can just weave that through as well to make sure it doesn't come undone. And again, like I would just go a couple of times around. I just like to make sure that my ends are just nice and secured. Just that nothing comes undone. Alright, so once you're finished, you can just cut that off. And you have the first arm of your starfish that's done. So then you're just gonna, um, surprise, surprise, repeat this all around for. All the arms so that we will have five arms um, so I might just fast forward this bit for you guys
Okay, and so here is the finished starfish. So the last step is to add any French nuts if you'd like. So I'll just show you how to do a couple. So the first thing is you want to just cut a length of yarn and you're going to um, thread oh. okay, you're going to thread in the needle and make a knot so I want to make um, a French knot around here so I will just make my yarn oops make my yarn come out and you just want that knot to kind of catch on the inside okay so now that you've got your thread like this to make a french knot you want to hold your yarn and then you're gonna go and turn around with your needle a few times and then you're going to reinsert but not quite in the same spot where your yarn comes out and you just want to pull And this is a French knot so what you can do is I've actually gone all the way through there but now I can just go in the same hole and hopefully yeah so that doesn't oh there's like a bit of thread that's coming out here okay yeah and so then you just want to repeat the process so hold your yarn like this then turn around your needles a few times i like to do it three times generally and then go back in but not at the exact same pot spot just a little bit further from where you came out and then i'm just gonna go back out straight where I want to make my next French knot and then you just kind of hold the yarn and there you go so I'm just going to make five for this starfish actually just one on each like one in front of each arm but if you want you can add more like I've done in my other one There we go, so I've just added like five French knots there. Um, you can again do them on the arms or not do them at all, depending on your preference. I kind of like them, I think they look cool. Um, they look a little bit like, you know, little jewels. Anyway, so when you're finishing, I'll just make a knot. I just make a double knot and then I will just kind of push this knot back in and then cut the yarn and hide it in and that's it you're finished so this is how I made a starfish with no sewing I hope you enjoyed this video if you did um, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up that really helps me 
and you can find me on social media on facebook and instagram mostly um or on my website and yeah don't forget if you want the um, free pattern that's written out um it's on my website emmacrossdesign.com all right see you next time bye